Oi, 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 heilige Tu bist wahr, heilige Tu bist wahr. Something so deep about Tu bist wahr. Maybe it's the Indian of Ancient Yehosh Boilem Cloud. If you walk outside and you look at a tree, it's bare, there's no leaves. It looks like it's dead, it looks like it's mama's dead, but go out. But we know deep inside that tree, there's so much life going on. The beginning, the sap is starting to move up and starting to prepare the tree for the summer. This is maybe the Indian clay soil, you think, or Miyayish, look what's going on in the world. There's no Yish, because deep inside, deep inside, there's a little Nakuda that's bringing everything to life. We're going to come to Mashiach, we're preparing for Mashiach. You must come Rabbi Yassi over there. No, Rabbeinu, 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 Shua. Leave it go, over and go, what the way? We ain't sure, yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't sure, yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't sure, yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't sure, yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't sure, yeah, 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 yeah. We ain't sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that was just a warm up. By the way, there's a yid here, Rabbi Yossi. Because Rabbi Yossi, we're here on behalf of Breast of Life, or Breast of Dot Life, to look up the website. But Breast of Life, what does that mean, Breast of Life? Rabbi Nachman brought so much Nechama, Rabbi Nachman brought so much healing to the world, Mamash. People are running to the Torah, Rabbi Nachman. People are running to, to Uman. Rabbi Nachman brought so much healing to life, Mamash. So Breast of Life is a deep Indian. Because a lot of people get back into life through breasts of Rav Nachman. So it's just mamish to be able to be part of this in you. But, but one of the biggest yisoyites of Rav Nachman is the avoid of simcha to be with simcha tomin, with simcha, whatever it takes, mamish. But I'm not with simcha. You know why? I'll tell you a mice. Am I allowed to say a mice, Rav Yossi? I'm allowed to say a mice. <laughs> By the way, it's another yid Rav Arya. He's over here, mamish. Rav Arya controls. He's running the controls. 
You know, there's some Yidin behind the scenes, like the bassist in every band. Nobody appreciates the bassist, but Lamaisi is the aside of the whole Indian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like the meat of your side, the foundation of the house. You can't see it. But Lamaisi is just holding up the whole house. Revive your mom's your mouth. <laughs> to the Holy Baal Shepta. It was Matzi Yom Kippur. And like the many words is that the Hasidim would start dancing Matzi Yom Kippur. They had such an amazing avoid. They're like many of us, we dance Matzi Yom Kippur. But there's a big minute to say Kiddush Lavana right after, you know, you dive my, if you walk outside, you look up, you see the moon, Kiddush Lavana is Gaval. So the Chassidim walked outside, the Baal Shem and the Chassidim, they look up and you can't see the moon, it's cloudy. Gaval, you can't see the moon. And when you can't see the moon, you know you can't say Kiddush Lavana, you have to be able to see the moon. So this bothered the Baal Shem because I guess he felt in, you know, in his holy wisdom that there was, maybe this was a negative, this was a revelation of something negative. Why are we able to say Kiddush Lavana Matzim Kippur? It bothered him a lot. So the Baal Shem said, you know what? I'm going to go, he's going to go into his room and have kavanas and holy meditations. Say, you know, however the tzaddikim were able to pull off these things and see if he could, you know, be piled that the cloud should move away from the moon. He goes into his room, he's trying the deepest kavanas. His spoidedus, very intense, serious. Meanwhile, the chassidim outside were so excited about the avoid of Kippur, they started dancing and dancing and dancing. The Baal Shem Tov is trying, he said, nothing's working, he's not being able to be poil. Okay, what can you do? Listen. It bothers him, he walks outside, he sees the chassidim are dancing, Mahamash. They're dancing, they're besimcha, he looks up at the clouds. And he sees the clouds are moving away. So the Baal Shem Tov looked at the Hasidim and he said, you know what you taught me today? You taught me such a deep thing. He said, what I wasn't able to accomplish with all my kavanas and meditations, Pasha the Hasidim, you were able to accomplish just by being besimcha. Just by being besimcha through the Indian, by a little taunt, you were able to accomplish that the clouds moved away. Sometimes we look so deep. Sometimes just to be besimcha, to have a muna through whatever you're going through, that is the issue itself. 